Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is the Monday of the octave of Easter. We offer this Mass for the following intentions. For the soul of Edgar Fiel, Pedro Francisco Sr., Lydia Vicente Jennifer, Sister Emilia Lolita, Rufronio Urisa, Rustico, and Father Willie Wagner from, from the Redemptorists from the province of Indonesia, and for all the souls in purgatory. For the special intentions of Dennis, for the healing of Angelica Luz, and for the fifth wedding anniversary of Jude Anthony and Katrina Martinez. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. To, as the introduction has said, we are now on the octave of Easter. For the next days, at least for eight days, we celebrate the joy of the Lord's resurrection. For these eight days is one big feast, the greatest of all the feasts that we celebrate in honor, in memory of our Lord who had risen from the dead. So as we come before the altar of God, thanking God for the gift of life that Jesus has given us, thanking God for the life that is in us, we also acknowledge our own faults and failures, and so we ask God to bless us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man delivered us by the set plan and foreknowledge of God. You killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the, throne, from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, no one, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised Jesus. Of this, we are all witnesses. Exalt at the right hand of God. He poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe, O God, God you, you are, are my hope. hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me, me safe, safe, O God, God you, you are, are my hope. hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path of life fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Please rise.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nowadays, we are familiar, in fact, very familiar with fake news. Some people are spreading fake news, not just as hobbies, but they are being paid to do so. So we have been warned to check the news we read and determine their sources. Otherwise, we might be misled to believe them and be influenced by them too. But fake news is nothing new. It is as old as humanity itself. It can be in many forms. It can be in the form of chismis or intrigues and many others. And we have it in our gospel today. There are people who do not want to open their eyes to the truth, and they do not just want to remain in darkness. They also want others to be so. And so they pay people to spread the fake news. The Jewish leaders paid the guards to spread the fake news to other people, just so they can retain their status and influence, just so they will remain in power and maintain the status quo. But on the contrary, we have the women who joyfully and hurriedly spread the good news to their brothers and sisters, even in the midst of fear that the authorities might persecute them. But their joy was great enough that they could not just contain it within themselves, and so they could not let their fear to stop them. Brothers and sisters, we are now in the season of Easter, and we carry within our hearts the joy that the, ris the Lord is risen. For the next 50 days, we will read and meditate on the Gospels of the Resurrection, starting with the words of the angel, of, of the words from the Gospel today. And as people of the resurrection, we are called to leave behind the tomb of darkness, of doubts, of insecurity. And we joy, even if at times we are fearful, we go to our brothers and sisters to tell them that Jesus is alive and is present among us. As Pope Francis said, it is starting from joy that we can convert the church and the world. Because the joy of the resurrection is not just about the risen Lord. It is also about the fact that all of us who believe in Him share in the power of His resurrection. And this is what the disciples did in the Acts of the Apostles. The joy in the presence of the risen Lord moved them to do good deeds to others, to proclaim the good news to those who are doubting, 
to bring the joy of God's reconciliation to heal the sick. The power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that was given to the apostles that moved them to share the good news of God's love. It is also the same power that is in us. After the intense preparation and reflection during the Holy Week, we are inclined to rest and enjoy the Easter week. Rest we may do, but not for long. For the power of the resurrection calls us to share it with others. In the coming days, we are called to abandon the tomb and the very human attitude that can characterize our little faith. Doubt, fear, helplessness. And then we move forward to see where we can bring the joy of the risen Lord to the sick, to the hungry, the needy, the lonely, and those in despair. Our present situation calls for Easter people to act together so that the reality of the Lord's resurrection can be concretely experienced in our midst. So let us look around, see where we can share the joy of the Lord in the concrete situations of our brothers and sisters. There can be difficulties and even obstacles given the quarantine condition that we are in. There can even be people who will be skeptical of our works. But like the apostles, let us move forward. Let us connect, link, share, help. Indeed, we have the real news that the Lord is risen and through you and me, he is active and alive in our midst. So let us now present to the Lord our prayers. Let us present our needs to God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into glory. And let us say, Victorious God, bless us. Victorious God, bless us. That the church may be renewed in the risen Christ and bring the message of hope and love to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us. That government officials may not fear to live by the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us. That the peace of the risen Lord may dwell in our hearts and in our homes and spread throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us. That we, as a community, may share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us. That the faithful departed having died with Christ, may share in his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us. Now in the silence of our hearts, we also commend to God our personal intentions and for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray especially to those who are sick with the COVID virus, with, with the coronavirus and for those who have died. God, our Father, we pray that the joy of Easter may penetrate our minds and our hearts and bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Our Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those whom we pray for in this Mass and for our departed friends and relatives. And all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Alphonsus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray together to our Father using the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, our Father who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Loop not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the risen Lord, who came to save us from our sins and give us new life. Blessed are we who are called to partake at the table of our Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion by St. Alphonsus Maria de Liguri. O my Jesus, I believe you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this time, trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through this Easter solemnity and his, in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the fast Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The celebration of the Eucharist is over. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. See?